YouTubers, Failure here, and welcome to the fourth stage of this year's La Tour de France of Failure Way. The fourth stage will be from La Tourguet Paris Planchet to Lille, and it's going to be 163 kilometers of pure flat terrain. So watch out for the Manx missile, Mark Cavendish. He's going to try and make it his third stage in a uh, third stage victory so far in the Tour de France, but he's going to have tough competition. Peter Sagan and Andre Greipel are right behind him in most of the sprints. I won't consider Marcel Kittel as one of the favorites. His sprint train has been like and he can't win on his own. He does not have the intellectual powers that Peter Sagan has in a sprint. So my money will be on Mark Cavendish, but we'll see in today's stage. Welcome to the first live images of the four stages of this year's Tour de France. Let me just get you up to speed on what's happened so far. We started off at the beach with the nice weather conditions. Soon after that, Garcia and Fuchs sparked a seven-man attack, which Giant, uh, Giant Shimano and Lotto Belsol did not appreciate, so they decided to pace. They paced them back. Short after that, Sebastian Langevel and Jerome Pinot sparked an attack. And they would also be in the final breakaway of the day. They were joined by Pichot and Lalag knew that was the final breakaway of the day. They came up to the first known intermediate sprint of the day. Langewell won that in the, in the front group. He sprinted away from the other companions. In the main peloton, we saw that Andre Greibel managed to beat Cavendish in a straight-up sprint. Then the only the first category four of the day, uh, Pichot managed to take in front of the other guys, but he only gets one point, so it doesn't really matter. And now we're back to the live images. You only just missed the category four, which Jerome Pinot did win. And we see now they're going for the second category four. Ladignu is trying to drop Pinot. Behind them, they drop Pichot on the other mountain. And Pinot and Ladignu are fighting for position on this category four. They really want to go for these points. It looks like Ladignu is going to take him. Yes, Ladignu takes one point. I might actually drop Jerome Pinot. And he might go alone towards the victory. So that is, how many points is that for Pinot in today's stage? Uh, that's actually one point to three different guys. So Tom Yeldeslachter will keep his overall uh, his, uh, King of the Mountains jersey, the polka dot jersey. He will be still wearing that in tomorrow's stage, the Ypres stage. A very exciting stage. But... Before we go on a commercial break, I am happy to uh, to show you guys a little feature that we're going to be using under this Tour de France. Tinkoff Saxon Bank has allowed us to record their recon stages, and they recon the final three kilometers. So on the left side right now, you'll see the stage, you'll see the live images on the stage. On the right side, you'll see the final three kilometers of the stage. And as you see, there are not that many bends, the road is wide, so this stage completely fits a guy like Cavendish. If Cavendish puts up their leader train, if, if Omega Five quick step gets the leader train down and it's gonna work I think that Mark Cavendish has a great shot at winning today's stage but other teams have to get their things in gear they have to do something Kittle has been very unsuccessful so far and it's time that Kittle shows up is he gonna show up today only time will tell but be right back after the short commercial break the Chew Dude Productions subscribe to my channel if you want to see some of these Topic Tuesday. This is Topic Tuesday, and today's topic is... Slime Sea. Here we've got Gun Lord, the Ardennes class. Portions. Weekly Rant. Hello, YouTube, it's Finitura, and welcome to another Weekly Rant video. Today, I'm again joined by the Chiyudu and Baseball Lover. How are you guys doing? Hi. 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 Great. Hi. 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 The Chiyudu versus... Birdie, it's gonna be a close sprint. Who's got it? Who's the strongest? Valverde Costa, it is Valverde. Career mode. The battle for pink. Comes down to this last stage here. Subscribe to see more. Welcome back from the commercial break. We are within the final 11 kilometers, and the lone guy in the front is Ladag New. But it looks like he's gonna get caught by the peloton. Everyone is starting to set up their leader trains. We see Cavendish in the middle. We have Kittle on the left side. It looks like finally Kittle will be able to set up their leader train. Giant Shimano has figured out their leader train and are now setting it up. And it also looks like Cavendish only has one guy left. Cavendish's team is swerving from left to right. They can't set up their leader train. Where is uh, Greipel and their Greipel also on the right side? He's got Van den Broek helping him. Van den Broek and company are all helping Greipel. Look at the position. The battle for positions right now is on. Everyone wants to be in the front when this final sprint gets kicked on. And Ladagnu was caught there. His day is over. In the front we have Cavendish on the left side. On the right side. No, Kittle goes on his wheel. Kittle decides that Cavendish's wheel is better. But on the right side, Greipel still has his leader train. He's going to have Henderson leading him out. We're going to have the battle of the leader of men's. Henderson versus Renshaw. But what is Cavendish doing? Cavendish decides that Greipel's wheel is better. He's going to latch on to Greipel's wheel now. But Greipel gets blocked 
blocked by Jürgen Rolands. His own leader man blocks him. Kittle looks like he's in prime position to win this stage. Cavani has lost his final sprint from behind. We see the Mars also coming, but he's not fast enough. On the left side, Peter Sagan is coming up, but Cavani is too strong. Kittle and Sagan are not catching up. They're not catching up on him. And it looks like another stage victory for Mark Cavendish. No, Sagan is actually coming on the outside. Sagan is actually coming on the outside. No. No, the Manx missile makes it three stages out of four. What a record. This man is unstoppable in this year's Tour de France. And Peter Sagan with his third second place finish. This man keeps getting second places. What the heck? Peter Sagan in second place. Marcel Kittle doing better. For once, we saw all four top sprinters in top four. But once again, you see Alejandro Valverde and Bakke Molema finishing top ten on a sprint stage. This just shows how messy these sprints have become. These sprints are so messy. Looks like none of the riders are able to set up a perfect leader train. Cavanis was switching wheels. Kittle was switching wheels. The only guy with a perfect leader train was Greibel. But Greibel just didn't have that top speed. Mark Cavanis gets to stand on top of the podium for the third time out of four stages. Omega Pharma Quick Step has the best Tour de France so far ever. If Mark Cavendish can keep this up, he can go on to win like 10 stages. There would be 10 stages that would fit Mark Cavendish. Sagan yet to win a stage. What a surprise. I mean, Sagan, three second places. If Mark Cavendish wasn't here, this would be his Tour de France, but he's yet to win a stage. Tony Gallup can keep the yellow jersey for another day. And tomorrow's gonna be the big test. What can Tony Gallup do on the Ypres stage? They're going on to they're going to the Arnberg Pave. It's going to be really tough to keep the jersey, I say, but there is a chance of him keeping the yellow jersey. Mark Cavendish, is, of course, in the leader's jersey on the overall points classification. And he's got a 40 points gap down to Peter Sagan. Peter Sagan is keeping up, and that's because of all his second places, but he's definitely keeping up. And if Cavendish really wants to make a, uh, a he wants, if he really wants to try and win this jersey, he needs to keep winning stages like this. And the fact that he's winning stages like this shows that he is a serious competitor for this jersey. Tom Yellow Slachter will be wearing the opponent Look at that jersey on the upper stage tomorrow. Not really a surprise. We see a lot of guys trying to get this jersey off him, but no one was successful enough to take it away from him. Let's see who's going to be wearing the overall white classification tomorrow. It is another mark for another day. Surprisingly enough, Sagan has not taken this off him. I think with all the second places that Peter Sagan has gotten, he would take this jersey away from Demar. Not sure about this, really. Let's check the overall team classification. Who's got that one? That is, once again, Frances de Chou. But I think that's going to change tomorrow. I doubt that Frances de Chou has the team to keep this, uh, this overall classification tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to cha change the entire GC. Watch out for a very inter interesting stage tomorrow. But I'll see you guys in the studio. Mark Cavendish took another stage in this year's Tour de France. Not really a surprise with how he's been doing so far, but I gotta say, pre-Tour de France, I don't think anyone expected Cavendish to get three stage wins alone in the first four days. This is turning into an extreme Tour de France for him, but tomorrow's stage is the Ypres stage. How will he do tomorrow? Technically, if he can fare on the couples, he could sprint a win in the end, but I doubt that's gonna happen. I managed to catch up with Patrick Lefebvre for the third time in a row, uh, not in a row, but third time in four days now. Let's see what he had to say. Mark has just entered a new youth. All this talk about Kittle being the new Sprint King, well, that is just gone now. The Manx missile strikes again, and it's definitely not the last time you're going to hear those words in this Tour de France. The Manx missile is on fire, I give him that. And I bet you it's not the last time we'll hear that being said as well. Patrick Lefebvre has got something there. But... Guys, that is the end of the episode. Please leave a like, please leave a favorite, please... No, can't even favorite anymore, I don't think you can. But please leave a comment. Tomorrow's stage is the Eper stage. It's going to be the best stage of this Tour de France. So please leave a like and come back tomorrow with your popcorn and your liquid of some sort ready. A beer, preferably. But be ready, guys. Tomorrow's going to be one hell of a stage.